Plenty of people enjoy being alone, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Think of Suga from BTS, Hang Jun from 80s, and even anime characters like Nagumi from Jujutsu Kaisen and Todoroki from My Hero Academy. People who prefer being alone are incredible, and if you're one of them, here's why. First, you're avant-garde. You tend to be creative and original. You're just so you, and that's your gift. Plenty of artists find inspiration in solitude. As Pablo Picasso once said, without great solitude, no serious work is possible. Being alone helps you relax, tap into your creative flow, and do things at your own pace. A 2017 study from New York discovered that individuals who intentionally chose to be alone for non-avoidant or non-anxiety related reasons were more likely to say that they were creatively engaged. You're probably able to dive deeper into your artistic self and create authentic pieces, music, dance, and other art forms. Go get that blue period moment. Next, you're non-conforming. One of the effects of being on the internet is the feeling that you have to pick a side, usually the majorities, for every single matter. This is called conformity behavior. And a 2012 study from Sweden even proves that it is evident in the digital landscape. But when you're happy being on your own, you relieve some of that pressure. You can take your time to research, form your opinions, and maybe even raise some questions to challenge common ideals. Although behaving like this can make a lot of people upset with you, having independence over your actions and thoughts is a good exercise that can reduce your stress and promote happiness. We're releasing our first book. Filled with fun psychology life hacks and amazing scientific studies that we couldn't fit into just a video. Available wherever you buy books and on Amazon. Check the description to find out how to pre-order. Next, you're autonomous. Another good trait that you may have if you enjoy being alone is that you're more than capable of taking care of yourself. If you've seen the anime Maid Sama, you may be flattered when we say that you embody Misaki's charm, trustworthiness, and independence. According to psychology senior lecturer, Dr. Steve Taylor, self-sufficient people trust in their instincts and are equipped with a deep-rooted sense of inner completeness and stability. You can be sociable, but you don't let other people make decisions for you, nor do you let any types of judgment or external comment sway you. You're steadfast, and that's admirable. Before we continue, please hit like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. Next up, you're silver-tongued. A lot of people think that preferring to be alone means that you don't like talking, or that if you're an introvert, you hate socializing. That's not an accurate generalization. According to Sarah Davies, assistant dean at the University of Virginia School of Law, being an introvert just means you prefer socializing differently. Your social capabilities tend to shine when you're comfortable. Extroverts too can be homebodies and go wild singing along to Taylor Swift lyrics alone in their room. You're probably an engaging and even a persuasive conversationalist. You can navigate deep topics and bring up meaningful points during a discussion because you spend a lot of time thinking, exploring, watching, or reading. Not only that, you can be a great listener too. You zero in. When you wanna do something, you're able to hyper-focus and give it all you got. You're kinda of like Lucy from Cyberpunk, Edge Runners. The main reason you're able to do this is because you have no external distractions. In 2017, leadership and self-help author Mike Irwin published an article titled, In a Distracted World, Solitude is a Competitive Advantage. Some studies mentioned in it revealed how performance quality decreases when multitasking. Irwin also states that having the discipline to step back from the noise of the world is essential to staying focused. You're an inner Sherlock. That's right, you probably possess great observation skills like Sherlock Holmes or Kaz Brecker from the novel Six of Crows. Perhaps you tend to remain silent, engage situations before diving into them. Introverts often do this to avoid being overwhelmed. According to INFJ Male Psychology, since human interaction, loud noises or bright lights can cause stress and overstimulation, introverts will often observe and look for ways to avoid them to manage their well-being. They may apply this when looking for friend groups, job choices, and more. Loving your alone time can be very self-fulfilling but you can appear oblivious to someone who wants to get closer to you. To learn more about this, you can watch Five Signs People Secretly Admire You. Thanks for watching.